Josie Kennedy and this is Shoro Bakes. So today we're going to be baking a gingerbread house. So the ingredients you will need are 500 grams of unsalted butter, 400 grams of muscovado sugar, 14 tablespoons of golden syrup, 1.1 kg of plain flour, 4 tablespoons of bicarbonate of soda, half tablespoon of cinnamon, 6 tablespoons of ground ginger, 3 egg whites, 700 grams of icing sugar, 1 tube of white writing icing, 1 bag of dolly mixtures, a tube of Smarties or some dolly mixture or just whatever sweets you have around the house that you can use to decorate a gingerbread house. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a rectangular sized piece of cardboard to use as a template for the sides of the house. It has to be size 12 by 15 centimeters. Now you have all your templates cut out, you've got to preheat the oven. You're going to preheat it to 200 celsius or gas mark 6. Okay, so you're going to cut some pieces of baking parchment to match the size of your tins and just place them in it, like so. So next, we're going to get a saucepan and you're going to put it over low heat and you're going to add butter, sugar and syrup until they've melted together, then remove it from the heat. We're going to start with plain flour. Now, we have our sieve and it's really heavy. Pour out your flour into your sieve and sieve away. Do the exact same with the cinnamon and the ginger and the icing sugar. Now that you've let your wet mixtures cool, you're going to pour the wet mixture into the dry mixture. As so. You can just put in a small bit at a time. and mix it in. Be extra careful if your pan is like mine and isn't quite big enough because you could end up with very very messy walls. So after you've rolled your lovely dough, you're going to get your templates, place them down on the dough, like so, get a knife and cut around the whole way around the template. And then you're going to just <clears throat> lift it up, just using your hand because it should be strong enough hold itself and if it's not then it's not very well made so you might want to redo it. This is what I have so far. One side and two pieces of roof. So they're going to be placed in the oven in a few minutes and while they're in the oven you can just get along with the next part, the other side of the house and the rest of the front and back of the house. Not forget the chimneys. Now we're going to need the rest of our dough we put the last few figures into the oven for 10 minutes. So they're in there right now and I'm kneading out the rest of my dough. <coughs> it's not the easiest thing to do, but you have to make sure it's nice and sturdy because you don't want your gingerbread house to fall. Then get your rolling pin. <coughs> and roll away. Roll it to about three quarters of a centimeter or a centimeter or even thicker if you think. Definitely don't roll it too thin because if you do then it will definitely crack and fall. So just kind of a happy medium. So now my last piece of dough is going in the cooker and it will be there for about 10-12 minutes and if when you take it out you feel that it's kind of a bit soft just put it in the fridge for a while. It should be kind of golden brown, a bit darker than it is now. But don't keep waiting until it gets hard because it will just burn. So just take it out at around 10-12 minutes and shove it in the fridge if you think it's still not hard enough. 
when you take them out of the oven, they should feel nice and sturdy. You should be able to lift them off the baking parchment without any trouble. And they should feel nice and sturdy as you hold them. So just take them all off. Make sure that they're all cooked completely. And obviously if they're not, put them in the fridge. So, when all your pieces are out of the oven, the main thing to do is to put it all together. What we're going to do is we're going to start off with, I think, the sides. Get one of your front pieces and one of your side pieces and put them together like so. You will indeed need an assistant because you need someone to ice it while you're holding it. If you've made a mess of it, or you have loads of spare dough, like me, do not fear, because you can make gingerbread cookies! And decorate them really pretty, and they're just little slabs of heaven. So, once you've finished constructing the house, you need to decorate it. These are some examples of how you can decorate your lovely pieces. I used some dolly mixture, and I used some M&Ms, and stuck them on using writing ice and you will have a beautiful looking design on your house. So, this has been Joro Bakes. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you made a lovely gingerbread house. Bye!